Hey everybody, it's Frank the Tank, and as you can see on the screen, we are about to trade David Ortiz, our designated hitter, to the San Francisco Giants for Chris Heston. Now, on the first comment for the first uh, couple videos for the Red Sox franchise, a lot of you guys don't like David Ortiz, um, and I, I get it. I'm not a huge, huge fan, but you know, he's somebody I wanted to keep with the team, but. I mean, it was overwhelming. If you guys look at the comments, how many people wanted to get rid of David Ortiz. Uh, so we made a deal that's good for us because it adds some starting pitching depth, as you can see me messing with the lineups now. Uh, so we get Chris Heston, and what I did was I put him into the rotation, and I put Wade Miley in the bullpen. Uh, so we're going to give that a shot for a while. You know, we could always mess with Wade Miley and put him back in the rotation if we need. Uh, but we are going to jump into our home opener here against the Washington Nationals. As you can see on the screen, we are 5-1. and one. Uh, Like I said, my plan for this franchise is we're going to play one game and then Sim 5. So we always have a, so we're always using a different starter. Um, and then when we get later into the season, we can play some more important games and pick and choose. Um, but the five games we simmed, we took two or three from, or we swept Philadelphia, so we took all three from them, and we took two or three from the Yankees in Yankee Stadium, so we are five and one. Uh, so we're doing really well, and with the David Ortiz trade, so far we've cleared $38.5 million in cap room. So right now, because we start with 10, uh, we have 48 Point five million to play with, so that's going to help if we're contending to maybe get a big slugger um, or a, you know a good pitcher before the deadline. Uh, but you see the Nationals line up here: Denard Span, uh, Denard Span leading off in center field. You now Escobar playing third, batting second. Bryce Harper in right field, batting third. Anthony Rendon in the cleanup spot at second base. Catcher Wilson Ramos fifth. Shortstop Ian Desmond sixth. DH Tyler Moore seven. First base Ryan Zimmerman eight. And ninth, left fielder Michael Taylor as we freeze Denard Span there with that big curveball to lead off the game. Clay Buckholtz on the mound through a complete game shutout his last time up. And we see here we have Yanel Escobar is going to take that first pitch. Xander Bogart's deep in the hole at shortstop. going to fire on the first, and we are going to retire him for the second out on the top of the first. But, yeah, Clay Buckholtz in his uh, start against Philadelphia. Complete game shutout. So he is 1-0 with a 0.0 ERA. Bryce Harper coming up third here for the Nationals. 1-1 pitch. He is going to break his bat. Slow roller to Arenado at third, and he will fire on to Napoli for the out, Clay Buckholt starts off with a bang and a 1-2-3 inning. So Jordan Zimmerman on the hill today for the Washington Nationals. He is 0-0 zero zero with a 4.5 ERA, so he didn't fare too well his first time up. But we're going to lead off here our center fielder, Mookie Betts, hitting 345 with two homers, five RBIs. And he's going to swing at that first pitch and put a bit of a charge into it, but Harper is going to track that down, heading towards the right center field gap for the first out of the game. Zimmerman trying to settle in and do a little better than his first start, but we're going to send Dustin Pedroia up here batting second. He is hitting 217 with four RBIs in the first week of the season. And I love that little animation there that he does with his bat. So I do that every time I'm up with him. But he is also going to swing at the first pitch here and hit a lazy pop-up over towards the on-deck circle. And their catcher, Wilson Ramos, is going to drift over for an easy out. Two outs on two pitches. We've got to be a little more patient at the plate. So our DH now is going to be Nelson Cruz, 261, one homer in the beginning uh, part of the season with six RBIs. A lot of you said move him to DH and put Rosny Castillo in right field. So that's what we're going to do in a 1-2 pitch here. He is going to hit a sharp ground ball to shortstop. But Ian Desmond is going to scoop that up and fire onto Zimmerman for the third out. So one, two, three in the bottom of the first go the Red Sox. And we need to be a little more patient and try to put some runs on the board. So we're going to fast forward here, bottom of the third. Derek Norris up to the plate, one of our off-season acquisition or beginning of the season acquisitions. Picked him up in spring training. He's only hitting 187, but he does have two home runs. And he's going to put a charge into this deep in the right center field gap. And that ball is going to get down, and it's going to hop, hit off the fence. And he is going to stroll into second with a stand-up double to give us a runner in scoring position here in the bottom of the third and after a Xander Bogart's ground out we have Mookie Betts our leadoff hitter at the plate and 0-1 count trying to drive that run in but Betts is going to get on top of this roll it over to Ian Desmond and he will fire on to first to end the threat and we are going to head here to the top of the fourth see if Clay Buckholtz can finish uh, you know, complete doing what he's doing. At the end of the third, they still don't have any hits, so we're going to see that. But after a span double, we have Harper up here in the top of the first. 
and we have him at a 2-2 count. And we get him to swing and miss over that big 12-6 curveball. And I really like pitching with Buckles. It was really smooth to pitch with him. He is throwing really well. And here top of the fourth, we have a 2-2 count to Desmond. And he is going to pop this up. Xander Bogart's going to fade back into left field. And he is going to put this away. So with one out and a runner on third, Buckholz gets himself out of the inning. And we're going to head to the bottom of the fourth here. Nelson Cruz, our designated hitter, up to the plate. One out. Cruz gets the pitch, and he is going to put a cho Ooh, ball low. I thought I was going to get a good swing on that ball, but 1-0 count. Cruz here trying to size up Zimmerman, and that's exactly what he does. Cruz gets into one deep. It is back. It is gone over the green monster Nelson Cruz with a solo shot coming up with some run support for his pitcher and that is career home run number 199 for Nelson Cruz that's his second home run of the season and that gives the Red Sox a one to nothing lead here in the bottom of the fourth and Clay Buckholtz the way he's been throwing that might be all he needs as we have Ian Desmond up here 0-2 count and we are going to freeze him with that fastball on the inside corner Tyler Moore, we walk him, put him on first. And we hang one to Ryan Zimmerman. He crushes this ball deep down the line and left. Is it fair? Is it foul? The umps are going to get together here. Zimmerman definitely put a charge into that one. Aaron Otto trying to get in and plead the case for his pitcher. But the veteran umpire is going to push him out of the way, not to influence or try to bribe the core of umpires trying to make their ruling. But that was a mistake pitch for Buckholz. He did not have too many mistake pitches during this game. And they are going to decide that that was, in fact, a home run. So Ryan Zimmerman puts a charge into this ball down the left field line. Going to curve it on the inside part of the foul pole. And he is going to give the Nationals a 2 to nothing lead. So here we are, bottom of the fifth. Guy on third, Mookie Betts, trying to bring that run in. And he's going to single sharp up the middle, and that ball is going to get through and score Rosny Castillo to tie this game 2-2. Two to two. Big hit for bets there. His average has been great in here. We have Nelson Cruz up bottom of the sixth. See if we can do something with another pitch here. Oh, and he looks awful on that curveball there. Definitely thought I was going to get a fastball there, uh, but what are you going to do about it? Just got to try to make our adjustments. And that's exactly what Nelson Cruz does. Deep, deep, deep left center field. Span is not going to get that one. And we are up 3-2 to two in this game. Nelson Cruz, career home run, number 200. Second of the game, third on the season. And he puts your Red Sox up 3-2. to two. And that, in fact, will be all Clay Buckholtz needs. As they bring in Aaron Barrett in the bottom of the seventh to replace... Their starter, Jordan Zimmerman, 2-2 count here with Derek Norris at the plate. And he's going to put a charge into this one. That ball was deep. That ball was gone off the MLB. The show 15 banner and Derek Norris goes deep. Solo shot for his third home run of the year. Stretches the Red Sox lead to two runs. Now Nelson Cruz up here, same inning with a runner on second, 1-2 count, going for his third home run of the game. Can he get it? No, he will hit a ground ball over to third. You know, Escobar picks that up and fires on to Zimmerman to end the threat here. And we are going to jump here to the top of the ninth inning. Top of the order coming up in Span, Escobar, and Harper. Clay Buckholz in here at 94 pitches. You could see Buckholz getting tired. 0-2 count. The pitch and strike three. We freeze Denard Span on that curveball just on the outside part of the plate. And a great way to start the ninth. Clay Buckholz going for a second complete game in a row. One, two count to Yanel Escobar. Strike three. We're going to freeze him in a curveball in the exact same spot as the one Span got rung up on. And after Bryce Harper reaches on an error, we have a one, two count here. And Anthony Rendon is going to get frozen on that same curveball. And your Red Sox are going to walk away with a home opener victory. By a score of 4-2, to two, Clay Buckholz in two starts has two complete game shutouts. I'm sorry, not two complete game shutouts, two complete games. He is 2-0 and oh with nine innings pitched, four hits this game, two runs and seven strikeouts, three of them coming in that ninth inning where he strikes out the side with that Harper reach on air in between. Losing pitcher is Jordan Zimmerman. That's going to make his ERA a bit worse. Our player of the game here is Nelson Cruz. 
two for four with two home runs and two RBIs. Derek Norris also goes three for four with a home run and an RBI. And that's going to be it for this video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. Your Red Sox are out to a 6-1 start, easily ahead in the AL East. And please, you know, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and check back very soon for another installment of our Red Sox franchise. This is Frank the Tank signing out.